Okay, John Kelly back again. Six, part six of our WordPress tutorial series. We just worked with the page. <clears throat> Excuse me. We had a the second part of our page editing tutorial. We're going to go back and do some more stuff. Uh, and the last one, we just learned how to insert a picture the proper way again, of how to copy and paste content and what happens when you don't do it right. And um, so use my little tricks. I guarantee it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of hair pulling. <laughs> okay. So let's go back into our page again. So we're still logged in. We're still in here as a uh, uh, an, an editor role. We're not in as the admin role. So my username is manager, so you can see that up here. So if I want to go back to this About Us page and edit it, all I do is click on Edit Page. brings me back. And now I can go back in here and do some more stuff. So let's pick out where we left off before. There's a few things in here that we still need to do. Uh, we know how to move the picture around, that's fine. We learned how to make a link, we learned how to make things bold and all that kind of good stuff. But let's say that maybe I want to make a list in here of some things. And um, so maybe after this paragraph I wanted to put a list of a couple of different things. Uh, maybe not next to the paragraph, maybe down below here. Uh, maybe between these two paragraphs. So I wanted to put um, website design. WordPress development and SEO. Let's just say I wanted those three things there as a list. Notice what I did. After each word I hit enter and it made a space and it made another line. So when I want to make this into a list, all I simply do is take those three items and if I want to make it a numbered list, I make it what's called an ordered list. If I want to make an unordered list, it puts bullets next to it, I click that. That's what I want to do. So I want to click on that. And notice what it automatically does for you. It creates the list for you. And once again, I'm going to teach you a little HTML. Here's what a list looks like in HTML. UL stands for unordered list. There's the beginning, and this is where it closes. Remember, the little slash says it closes. LI stands for list item. Beginning LI, close LI. So yeah, you could actually go in here and type this by hand if you want. As a matter of fact, your HTML tags are right up here. So I could actually go right here and uh, type in a fourth one. Maybe it's, um, let's call it search marketing. Okay, here's how I would do that on the HTML side. See where it says LI list? Guess what it does? Automatically makes another list item for me. So when I go back to this side, you can see it did it for me. So congratulations, you learned some HTML. How about that? And you just did your first hand coding of it. All right, but why do that when, you, when WordPress will do it all for you? Okay, so ultimately, when we come back over to this side here, we learn how to make a list. Now, I could still take this list, and I could still do stuff to it. I can bold it. I can make it italic. And, of course, you can go to the HTML side and learn how it did that. Okay, but anyway that's how we were going to do that. Maybe I wanted to take my uh, business title here and make that bold. And that makes that a little nicer. And so ultimately I have everything in here. You notice I say the word ultimately a lot. I'm sorry. But I have everything in here that I want and we're good to go. Now when I go to preview my changes we can see the effect of that and everything looks just the way that I like it. So again, remember, when you preview, it opens up a new browser tab. Remember to close that and go back to the window that you're working in. Now, so that's in place. Now all I need to do is uh, work with a couple other little things that are in here uh, to show you what would happen in certain cases. Now, for example, if I were to get rid of these things that I just did here, uh, get rid of the list, get rid of the extra words, and do that. Here's what would happen if I copied over a, an existing list. So let's just say that I copied over that list and I deleted whatever was in front of it. And now I decided I wanted to format it and make it a list again. So when I go and select that, you say, yeah, that's, that's easy. All I have to do is take those three things there and click on list. Eh, doesn't work, remember? So what happens is anything that's, whenever there's not a space below it, it considers it all one element and it makes everything there. So when I look at the HTML side, look what it did. 
it made the opening on order list a closing one but it took everything in there and it made it one list item that's not what I want alright so what I do is I undo that okay and uh, if, you know if the words weren't separated then what you would do is go to the HTML side and if this is the way it was then you would simply hit enter after each word make a space so on the visual side you have a space and then go ahead and create your list so again that's going to save you a lot of headaches when it comes to trying to make everything um, fit properly and things like that because a lot of people really struggle with that list item thing all by itself all right now let's uh, try one other thing let's say I wanted to add another picture in here and maybe I wanted to take this picture and float it over to the right so I'm going to take that picture open it up in the enter editor float it off to the right and I want to make it a little bit smaller too I'm going to drop it down to 80 percent there update it <clears throat> and that makes it a little smaller so when I preview it there we go that's what I want maybe I want to put my logo over here too okay so when I do that you're saying alright how do I do that okay well here's what you'll do you're saying alright well I remember I put this thing in here but I'm not sure how <clears throat> it worked but I want to put another picture right next to it well here's what will happen let's say you start it there and I go and I upload the picture so let's go find my logo that I want to put in here uh, let's see and uh, bear with me a second six and let's just go find a logo here somewhere uh, images and there we go okay maybe let's try to find one that's a little smaller here uh, that'll work that's 600 by 600 okay so I'll import that one <clears throat> there's my logo and um, I don't want this logo to open up as a link but I do want it to go off to the right and sit next to my other image and um, I only want to make a thumbnail out of it instead so I insert it into my post okay well so far so good it looks like it did a good job alright so when I go and preview it oh there it is when I go to preview it it worked it did exactly what I wanted it to do it put it right next to it all right, now let's look at the worst case scenario. Excuse me. What happens if it doesn't work the way you wanted it to work? So when I get out of here, uh, and let's say that you said, oh, well, maybe I wanted to put next to the image, so you put it down here instead. <clears throat> I go and I add that image again. Now, I don't need to upload it from my computer again. I could just get it out of my gallery here. Okay, you can see my two images. So there's my logo. I click on Show there it is get rid of the link I want to float it to the right and I'll make a thumbnail so I'm going to insert it into my post okay well that worked okay but it may not quite be where I want it to be well let's preview it yeah and it's not too bad but I kinda wanted it up here so how do you know how to align a bunch of images well there's two ways one is you can remember where you inserted this one within the content and in this case we started at the very beginning of the content and entered it or another way go to the HTML side okay now anything that's an image especially if it has a caption we'll start with you notice these brackets okay brackets are also in this case considered HTML uh, even though brackets aren't really part of HTML but for code it on WordPress it is so notice this tag right here says image okay that's the beginning of an image HTML character and then it closes with an HTML character so everything that's right here if we look at that just piece of code right there that whole thing there is an image and where it appears in my content is first so what that means is on the visual side what I did is I clicked before the content and it added that picture okay now the next image that I added is down here somewhere let's see let's find the beginning of the image there it is right here here's the logo that I entered if you notice I put it after that second that that first paragraph well you know what if I wanted to move it and put it up here 
I can do that. Guess what you do? Highlight everything that's that image right there. I can cut it. And let's say I want to put it before that. I go right in front of that other image and I paste it. So notice what it did. Here's where that first image ends. Here's where the image of me begins. Oops, I just messed that up. Here's where the image of me begins, starting there. So one ends here, the other one begins there. So when I go to my visual side, look what it did. Okay, well if I didn't want it that way, I wanted to reverse it. Well, all I needed to do is take that image. You notice how it separated it for you. And I can go after the caption there, after the other image make a space there and enter it there instead. So now when I go to my visual side, it moved it. Okay. Now why did it go in that order? Because this image was first, that image is second, then came the content. And that's the order of how it appears on the page. So when you look over here, it shows you that order in here as well. All right, so again, this is some advanced stuff with the page editor, but if you're using the editor a lot, this is stuff that you're gonna wanna know. Okay, especially when you're going to add like a whole bunch of images on a page and you can't figure out why it's not working. Alrighty, so now I can go ahead and I can update that and we are good to go as far as adding images. I'll talk to you in the next tutorial.